Okay, hello there. Today we're gonna do a preparation of an NMN liposomal formula. I'm preparing it this way to try and save on money. I'm not sure if this is the best value for the NMN. And then uh, I keep the NMN and the transresveratrol in the freezer till the very last second. So I'll need an ice cube and some ice water to get started. This is to try and reduce oxidation. This is the... This is um, reverse osmosis water. It would be better if I used this. Distilled water. I would avoid tap water if at all possible because it's got the uh, chlorine and the fluorine and it's liable to... Um... Now the other ingredients will be a uh, trimethylglycine. Apparently the um, NMN um, Increasing NAD plus um, depletes betaine, otherwise known as trimethylglycine. And then to help stabilize the mixture, I'll add some cherry acerola, some l ascorbate, some green tea extract, and then I'll add some cinnamon as a flavoring. I use the Ceylon cinnamon. And so um, while I weigh these things out, I'll blend these um, five things here with the transresveratrol, I think it's a hundred, and, um, and the, um, NMN separately from the sunflower lecithin. And then I'll, I'll, then I'll blend an equal, a number of grams of the sunflower lecithin in ice water. And then I'll combine the two and blend it, blend the two of them together for a couple minutes. And then after that, they'll go in a glass jar. Let me make sure I, this doesn't overflow. Yeah, I could put a little bit more water in there. I'll put them in a glass jar in an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner for 35 minutes. And um, stir it once in a while with a wooden stirrer. So I will turn off the camera now while I weigh these out, because that's kind of boring. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, I've got the products weighed out. And, uh, comes out to 16 grams altogether. So I'll blend this just for a minute or so. While it's blending, I'll weigh out the 16 grams of sunflower lecithin. I didn't have the water in the freezer long enough, so I'll have to hit an ice cube. And then if it does uh, get too 
warm while it's um, blending, you can check it with your hand. And you can always add ice cubes, pure ice cubes during the night. This isn't really chemistry, it's just um, mixing different things carefully. Use a gram scale and uh, try not to mess up too much. <laughs> So now I'm combining them. This is basically the procedure for all the liposomal formulas I make. I'm making five now. I calculated the cost savings on one of them and the, the, my price um, doing it this way is one ninth, one ninth of the um, regular cost for the um, what was that? I'll think of it. Oh, that was for the um, the modified citrus pectin uh, formula. Well, that's actually pretty expensive. Blender's making a lot of noise. I think the uh, the bearings failed. I mean, the bearing uh, cover failed on the bottom of this, and I think the grease is getting um, diminished to the point where uh, it'd be like a, the wheel bearing going on the car. So I'm gonna have to uh, get a replacement. It's got a lifetime warranty. They replaced, the, they replaced this once before. This is a clean blend. So hopefully they'll replace it again. You know how these warranties are. Okay, the um, ultrasonic jewelry cleaner has been running for Almost 35 minutes. I stirred it periodically. It's in ice water. The water is still nice and cold. Now I'm going to add some uh, some rosemary essential oil and some geranium essential oil. This will help reduce oxidation and keep the formula nice and fresh. I think I may have said, oh, I put two drops. I think I said in my, um, that I take this three times a day. I take it once a day over 14 days. So I'll weigh this out on the scale and I'll divide by 14. And then that will tell me the dosage day. So that's pretty much it. It's all finished. Put it in the refrigerator. Keep it nice and cool. And I didn't talk too much about um, David Sinclair, 
This is where I got many of my ideas about the NMN, where he's using um, the NMM one gram per day, um, 100 milligrams of transvestrotrol. I think he dissolves it in a little bit of yogurt. And he, he, I think he does it actually does it in the freezer, so the NMM isn't exposed to um, warm air. It's uh, apparently it's pretty fragile. And um, he also uses metformin. Um, so David Seclair, he has a book, he has a Twitter, and he um, he frequently does, makes some very useful, up-to-date comments on Twitter. He commented about one of the first, um, the first age reversal study with Fahey and Horvath. I think he said that he actually called him on the phone because it was the... Uh, the results were rather uh, unbelievable. Well, that could have been the study with um, Harold Katcher and um, and Horvath again. Um, but in any case, uh, David Sinclair has great information and can you know help keep us up to date on the latest anti-aging research. Okay, so I think that's. I'll keep this one pretty short. So thank you for listening.